Hey, I'm Matthias Rangel and this is exercise number 6. I'm going to talk how to build modal progressions so you can play, let's say, a Dorian chord progression, a Phrygian chord progression, you know, different to the simple... Alright, so how, how do you build a model progression? To build a model progression, first of all, you have to find the char characteristic note of the mode. Let's say, I don't know, we are in a, we are in a D Dorian mode, which is... A D mode, Dorian mode, is a minor scale with a natural 6th degree. So, how do you find the characteristic tone of a mode? What you have to do is compare it with the... Well, you have to compare the minor mode with the minor scale and the major mode with the major scale. The minor mo modes are those which have a third, minor third, and the major modes are those which have a major a third. So let's say Lydian is a major mode. Mixolydian is a major mode. But Dorian is a minor mode, Phrygian minor mode, as Locrian is a minor mode. So let's say we want to build um, a Phrygian progression. So we have the Phrygian scale, which, ha which is a minor scale with a flat second. The only difference between Phrygian and minor scale is the flat second. So the flat second is the characteristic tone of Phrygian. Do you understand? This is the note that is making the difference between the minor mode and the Phrygian mode. So, what we're going to do here is pick the chords that include the chord, the characteristic tone. In the case, a dominant 7 includes the, character, the characteristic tone, we're going to avoid this chord. This chord, the dominant 7, and the minor 7 flat 5 are going to be avoided because they tend to lead to a major progression. So, let's say we want to build a Phrygian model progression. These are the chords from the Phrygian mode. Phrygian, Phrygian mode is the third degree of the major scale. So, it is as simple as starting in the third degree. So, what we do here is pick the chord that has the characteristic tone. Don't forget that, that is really important. So, here, of course, the first chord, which is the minor, here, the major, minor, the Phrygian chord has to be in the progression. The first chord, the first degree has to be. Now, let's, let's try to look for the characteristic tone. Here, this chord has the characteristic tone. This chord has the characteristic tone, but it is a dominant 7, so we cannot play it, we have to avoid it, because it will leave our progression leading to a major mode. So, let's keep going. This chord doesn't include the characteristic tone. So here the characteristic tone is a E flat. Let's keep going. This chord includes the characteristic tone, but we are going to avoid it because it has a three tone. It is like the dominant chord. It tends our progression to a major to a major area. So let's keep going. This chord doesn't include. This 
chord includes and fits perfectly. So this is the chord that will give us a Phrygian a Phrygian mode. This one and this one. So we can barely use the chords that doesn't have the tone, the characteristic tone, and the chords that have the characteristic tone. But what is the difference between these? Well, the chords that include the E flat have to be yes or yes in the progression. There's no other way because otherwise the progression won't sound Phrygian. So let's build a Phrygian progression. We have the first degree, we have the characteristic chord, we have here another characteristic chord, we have here an avoid chord, avoid chord, and we have here just some chords from the progression. It doesn't matter if you play them or not. So let's build a simple Phrygian progression. You know, let's try to build another. idea of this is find the characteristic tone of the mode and find the characteristic chords and you will have a model progression. Mm -hmm. 